So central bankers create cycles. How have the central bankers, this is my last slide, because my 12 minutes is just up, have reacted to the truth coming out? They admit that they've been telling porkies, and now they propose to increase their power. So central bankers belatedly admit, oh, oh, now that you've mentioned it, uh, yes, banks create the money supply. Um, so uh, let's abolish that now. <laughs> um, and also, by the way, let's abolish cash. So what should we do? Well, introduce digital cyber currency that central banks issue and control, and thereby gain total control over all economic transactions, decisions, and the whole lot you've just heard from the CEO of the GDI. So the greatest concentration of central banking power in history is really the bid they're aiming at. That's the central bank's goal. And, of course, digital accounts of um, dissenters and regime critics could be switched off. It would be very difficult to even purchase necessities. So this is an Orwellian dystopia of total control, the end of any freedoms. That's um, really what central banks are aiming at. Several central banks have, like the Bank of England, already prepared their microchip implant, RFID chip, to be implanted under your skin. Um, and why is the sudden discussion about universal basic income from all the grassroots and inverted commas movements and billionaires? Oh, universal basic income is the bribe for you to accept the microchip. The overarching trend of the 20th century is concentration of power in the hands of the few. That's what we have to keep in mind. We have to work against this. We don't want to have these unaccountable central planners making decisions. We need decentralization. And the solution, therefore, is to maintain public money in the hands of local community banks, decentralize decision making, give local people the power in the form of local public banks and local not-for-profit community banks. As I walked in, I was delighted to see that the um, Gottlieb Dutweiler Institute is also about Genossenschaft and cooperatives, and of course, the majority of banks in Germany are cooperative banks, um, and that's really what we need. So. We shouldn't really abolish banks. Uh, we just have to get rid of the too big to fail banks, introduce a few rules that you create credit for productive purposes, and then we can uh, solve many of the world's problems. And these are really the promises of economics that we can solve a lot of mankind's problems. As JFK said, our problems are man made, therefore, they may be solved by man, and man can be as big as he wants. Of course, he was referring to ladies as well, no doubt. No problem of human destiny is beyond human beings. JFK, thanks very much. <laughs>